How you doing, Larry Rooney from Pelagic Outfitters. Uh, today we're gonna insert 130 pound fluorocarbon and build a wind on using 200 pound hollow core Jerry Brown. First what we do is we cut the length of the fluorocarbon that we need. We trim the tip so that it fits inside the hollow needle. And it inserts in. We give it a kink quick so it doesn't slide out. And then we prepare to insert it into the 200 pound hollow. So once it's in, we pull the hollow onto the needle. We don't push the needle into the hollow core. Now for doing your standard top shot, we're gonna use approximately eight foot of hollow core that's doubled up and inserted into itself. Now the fluorocarbon is inside the hollow. We pull it out, the needle, trim the tip where the kink was, use some lightly abrasive sandpaper just to give it a little more holding power, and we slide the fluorocarbon back inside the hollow core. So as you can see, the fluorocarbon is all the way nearly to the very end where the line has been doubled up. Pull the slack out, and then we'll put the outer layer over the inner layer, gently. So now there's basically two layers of Dacron or Spectra Spectra. over that piece of fluorocarbon. And we make sure we get all the slack out. Now, where the loop has been made by inserting the one end into the other end, We'll open it up right to the point where the fluorocarbon is, which you can see. Mm -hmm. And then we pull all the slack out of that outer layer. And that's basically going to lock your loop to where you want it to be. Correct. It works just like uh, the way a Chinese finger cuff would work. So now what we have is you can feel where the outer layer has gone beyond the inner layer. You would have to feel it with your hands if you can't see it on the film. But what we have to do is we have to trim that back a little bit. So we're going to put it into the tool. And you keep it nice and snug the line. That's right. Make it taut. So what you're doing now, you're basically just button trimming. We're just trimming the outer layer back towards the inner layer without hitting the line, obviously. So now, the outer layer is probably about a third of an inch longer than the inner layer. This tool now that we're going to use is called a biter winder, which is a bobbin that holds tension on the line that we're going to use to wrap and finish the wind on. And which knot are you going to be using here, or what's it called? Uh, this is just a serve. Um, it's not a knot. It's going to be glued and waxed, which uh, allows the line to run through the guides almost perfectly. Okay. So first what we do is we take a small section and lay it on top. We hang the other part and we're going to make 10 wraps. Tag in, we're going to give it a pull just to tighten it up. It cinches up underneath. And what we can do is we take a razor blade and carefully trim that tight. Take the slack out of the tool and then we begin winding around. And that tension on that tool is going to keep that nice and tight. That's correct. The two, <coughs> the two nuts on the bottom of the tool help you to adjust what tension you want when you're wrapping the line. So we're going to get right to the end just coming soon. Now you can see it, it eats it right up and just comes That's through. right. Then what we do is we just bring the tool back a little bit and run it back the other way. We're 
we're going to get about five or six turns from the end and we're going to stop. Right about there. Now what you need is, we make this homemade tool using super light shark wire. But you can see it's just a loop. I'm going to lay that inside the tool with the loop facing to the left. And by hand, we're just going to wrap it around. 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Take some slack out. put it into that loop and we pull it through. Next step, we just wrap it around the line, use a tool that can grab that line and get whatever. You basically just snug it up. Just right snugging now. it up and getting it nice and tight and clean. Now this is the unglued Cool. Unglued serve, right? All right. So the last part. The last part of this is we use a two-part glue system that comes from Jerry Brown. First is the activator, then the glue. Make sure it's distributed evenly. Give it a few minutes to set up. And then we just wipe the excess off. Final step, bowstring wax. Clean off the excess wax, and that's it. Done. That's pretty cool. That'll glide through any type of guide. And that's your completed product? Correct. What this allows you to do is, it gives you this loop at this end, which is adjustable, which will marry up with a loop at the end of your reel, mm -hmm. so that you can add on or take off different size terminal ends of your tackle. So this happens to be 130, but we build them in other sizes and uh, gives you the ability to change out your fluorocarbon. Now, you know, it's not that easy to do that. You need a lot of stuff to actually make that not and do that. So everything you just did is available at the store? That's correct. Um, the winding tool, the two-part glue, the wax, um, the only part of this that uh, you need a little ingenuity is to build your own jig, gotcha. which isn't terribly difficult. That's awesome. All right, Larry, thank you so much for that. You're welcome.